Welcome to Oil Shop Supplies. We didn't invent the oil change sticker, we made it better. This video is for our most frequently asked questions for both our IndiePrint 2 Pro and TBB printers, so feel free to follow along if you have any questions. We'll begin by going over how to reset the printer. Make sure that your printer is powered off for this. To start the process, push and hold the two face buttons underneath the display. Then, flip the switch on the back of the printer to the on position while still holding those buttons. When the display reads factory default and the lights begin to flash green, you can now release the two face buttons. When the Indie print screen appears, all that's left in this process is to turn the printer off and then on again. The printer has now officially been reset. Next, we'll be going over how to change the darkness on your labels. You can either go darker or lighter, depending on your preference. Start by scrolling through the menu using the included keyboard until you get to Printer Settings. From there, press Enter. When prompted with speed, type 2, then Enter. For darkness, type 10, then press Enter. When your home screen reappears, the printer has fully auto-saved all your information. As you can see, 1 will be the lightest and 15 will be the darkest. Here's a quick bonus tip for all future topics. If you mess up during any of these steps or while creating your label, simply turn the printer off, then on again to restart the process. Our next topic and our most frequently asked questions is a simple one. How to input or change the date on your printer. Start by scrolling through the menu using the included keyboard until you get to printer settings, then press enter. Once those steps are completed, you'll need to verify your printer information. To advance to the next prompts, simply press enter on your keyboard. The printer will then go through the date and time so you can adjust as needed. When your home screen reappears, the printer has fully auto-saved all your information. Our next topic and our most frequently asked questions is how to change template intervals for your labels. First start by scrolling through the menu using the included USB keyboard until you get to company info. Then press the enter key. Once those steps are completed, you'll need to verify your printer information. To advance to the next prompt, simply press enter on your keyboard. It will then proceed through all template intervals and you can adjust them as desired. When your home screen reappears, the printer has fully auto-saved all your information. Our next most frequently asked question is another easy one. It's how to install the ink ribbon into your printer. All you have to do is find the two notches on the ink ribbon itself and use those as guides to install it. Start with the take up paper cores first, then repeat the process for the ink ribbon. After you finish doing that, take the ink ribbon and attach that to the take up paper core. Be sure to use the green dial on the left to pull the ink over the print head. And just like that, you're finished. You have now fully installed the ink ribbon into your Indie Print 2 printer. We all know how important branding is to your business. That's why our next topic is going to be how to add or remove company information from your labels. Start by scrolling through the menu using the included keyboard until you find company info. Then press the enter key to continue. When prompted, simply type in your company name and information followed by the enter key to continue to the next prompts. To remove company information, return to company info, and when your information is highlighted, press delete, spacebar, and the enter key, and repeat the process for all company information. When your home screen reappears, the printer has fully auto-saved all your information. Here's a quick comparison of what your labels will look like with or without company info. The final topic for our most frequently asked questions video is how to properly set your label gap calibration. Make sure the printer is powered off before beginning this process. Then hold the two face buttons underneath the display while turning on the printer. Continue holding the face buttons while the printer is powering on and it cycles through its functions. Release the buttons when gap calibration appears on the screen. Your printer will then feed a few labels for calibration. When they stop, your printer has been calibrated. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. And thank you for choosing Oil Shop Supplies.